Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you what the black body node is and why you should use it if you want more accurate lighting in your scene. Before we start anything in Blender, I need to explain the term colour temperature. Colour temperature refers to the colour of a light source, specifically the colour of a light being emitted from a black body. Contrary to the name, a black body is not one which doesn't emit any light. It's called a black body because it absorbs light of all wavelengths. But importantly, it also emits light at certain frequencies based on its temperature. Frequencies correspond to colours, and thus the term colour temperature comes about to describe the colour produced when a black body is heated to a certain temperature. Some metals are close enough to being a perfect black body, that when heated, they can be a good way of visualising how this works. Now into Blender. To start off with, I'm going to go into the shading tab so that I can see the node editor, I'm going to scale the cube way down so it will act as a point light source. If we give it an emission shader with a strength of around 500, we can see the light it emits is white. I'm also going to turn on bloom to make it more easily visible. We can then get to the actual black body node. You'll find it under converters as it's technically converting a temperature value in Kelvin into an RGB value for the light. Just plug the colour output of the black body node into the colour input of the emission shader and you'll see the light go yellow. This is expected, as if you look at the table of colour temperature, the default value of 1500 is below even the lowest normal value. Bringing it up to 1700 Kelvin, you'll see the colour change slightly. According to this table, it's now the colour of a match flame. Bringing it up to 3200 Kelvin makes it more of a studio lamp colour. Up further to 5500 and we're at normal daylight. The highest value under normal use is 15000 Kelvin, which is blue sky. The reason that this node is so useful is that you are able to make lights which are accurate to life. This will make a big difference in your scene compared to just eyeballing the colour. For example, you can make area lights with a sky blue black body colour and a sun point with a daylight colour to make a realistic outdoor scene. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please consider sharing and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.